Hello YouTube, Hyruleans, followers and friends. This is Blue Flame Prince and welcome back to another exciting episode of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Randomizer. Where today I am going through a little bit of a few extra things that I've been needing to get done with since we are pretty much going to be pretty much collecting everything within this. I wasn't really planning to but a few things led to another, and since we ended up getting the shield in the last episode, there was something I really didn't want to do, and within the Skull Forest, which I always believed was the Forest of Darkness and whatnot, there is a chest that I did not pick up, and the reason is, it was, it actually had the shield in it. I found it during while I wasn't recording one time and because I didn't really want it and I wanted to see if you guys really wanted me to have it to see what you guys thought but because we ended up getting the shield within the last episode I thought it would be best to come back to the skull forest and actually check that chest once again because I don't know how the randomizer works if you have went through the entire game without a shield. And yeah, just one thing leads to another. And I'm wanting to know really now is if this, if the chest that had the shield in it would actually turn out to be the mirror shield. I mean, at this point in the game, I feel like it's worth checking because this is the first time I've seen anyone not really go through a randomizer without having a shield so the shield would have actually been right at, actually right at the beginning we did have a spare key um we did have a spare key for this dungeon, or so I thought, and okay then, um, anyways the chest would have been right on the other side of that door, but we should have collected the remaining chests and within this dungeon. It's just me being being curious and wanting to know what really lies within this chest. This was the chest that would have had the shield in it and I just denied it. I did not want it. And with that we ended up getting the upgraded shield. So I think it wasn't as randomized. So so now I am going to be going ahead and making my way out of this place. But I'm, I was just so curious about that one chest since I've had to deny it through this entire Let's Play. Um... Or at least ever since we made it to the Skull Forest, since it, it was a chest I didn't want. It, it had the shield in it. So I hope you guys understand, and I'll see you back at Ganon's Tower. And we are back, and we are finally going to be able to make our way through the rest of Ganon's Tower. While all we need really now is the mirror shield and the big key. And then we will be able to finally finish up this game by beating Agahim and Ganon. So, we still need the big key which is somewhere down within this dungeon. And hopefully it's not too far off. But that also means there will be a lot of chests with pretty much rupees and 
Hang on, what? Okay. Yeah, the Shadow Masters are not really, or not Shadow, the it, the Wall Masters are not really my favorite enemies because they make you backtrack a lot, which it is a challenge to actually dodge them. But but what I was getting to is that. We just need to make our way through the this place and most of the chests will now be rupees or I'm not I'm not really sure what else because it seems like there will be a lot more things in our way. Okay, have to move fast and Try to damage boost through. And as much as I don't want to use the blue potions normally. Hmm. Also, this entire time I did not notice that this door was open. And I don't exactly know what to do here besides dodge this guy and try to make it to those blocks. I'm just wondering why am I having so much trouble with this one puzzle? But we finally made it. Now I just need to time that. And we should be able to there shouldn't be much more things to go through and here are four chests which we may just need these chests and that be it so they contain rupees arrows bombs or anything that is a key item hopefully we can get the big key in the mirror shield let's see well we got one key five bombs the big key and 20 rupees eh, I think this room was about 50 50 don't really know if you would count the the bomb upgrade a don't know if you would really count that as a key item speaking of keys Hmm. This is like the Skull Forest all over again. Oh no. no, no, no. We are going to need to move fast. And we're going to need the hook shot as well, it seems. You know what? I think this calls for a good good time to actually try out the cape. Maybe not. Well, hopefully this is the more exciting episode, watching me fill all of these simple puzzles and wasting all of my magic. At least I got a good bit of fairies. However, that was going to be something I was going to talk about is that the fairies that heal us has red hair and a 
purple dress. Whenever they're in the bottle, though, blonde hair and a blue dress. So, yeah. And you don't have to worry about the reason I'm carrying the bee. Uh, I'm saving it for something very important. Okay, I, I see what to do here. So, one of my weaknesses is actually trying to dodge the fireballs of death and making it through these spikes, which I really think that should be more of another challenge on its own. And this is not going to end well. I believe there is an invisible floor. Heart, please. 20 rupees, not really what I wanted. Oh, seriously? It was a straight line. Oh, are you kidding me? No. Well, back in this room. I'll take that. Fireballs cannot make up its mind. At least we have the big key now, so what lies within this chest? Uh, I'm going to pretend I did not see that. And I am going to hope for the best that the mirror shield is up above. So we should be finally done with the bottom floor. Um... Oh, that caused a little bit of lag. Um, I'm here, anti fairy. Okay, now it seems like I'm just spamming it, which that that's not going to help at all. No, don't push me out on the spikes. I hate stabbing my toe. Oh, great. This is a room where we have to kill all the enemies. When it comes to some of this, I may actually speed this up just because some of this takes a lot longer than it needs to. You are having fun, aren't you, Mr. Spikes? Mr. Spikeball. My one weakness, Bemos. And the guys that you need arrows for. Thankfully, they drop magic. So, actually, if I am not mistaken, uh, hey, we haven't seen you guys in a while. Yeah, we had to make our way all the way down just to hit a switch. 
But besides all of this, it's just repeating itself for all the older dungeons. Don't know if any of you remember those. Also, this was something that actually a lot of people did not does not know about is that you can use the Pegasus shoes to get to the other side of places like this and then use the hook shot to get back. But what's good about this room is there's fairies. And we can also restock up on items. Or they can put pots or skulls here um, to make us believe there are items. When in fact, it's just one troll room. Yeah, now it's just becoming an, a gauntlet at this point. We are encountering enemies from all over the past dungeons. And puzzles from the previous dungeons to make sure that we remembered half of them. And of course, the only way for us to move on is to defeat all of them. Come here. My one weakness, Bemos. You know what? Screw this. Fill my wrath. Are you serious? The spike ball killed me. Can you see how amazing I am at this? I blame the ice floor. It's like that little mini game from Link's Awakening. Where the Yoshi doll is. I wonder, is there a randomizer of those games and like the Oracle series. I, I feel like that would be actually pretty interesting. I'm a bunny. Yay. Now we are facing off with the twin mold lookalikes. while dodging a laser. Gaining a little bit of lag here, but... I mean, at least this is a challenge, which I actually enjoyed, because if it wasn't a challenge, uh, what would be the point, really? Um... These are the... I don't really know where to go. It's trial and error. These are the... more upgraded... or... more difficult... whiz robes, is what I'm getting to. Um... My only problem is low hearts and... Not 100% where to go. However, by saying that, we were actually able to make our way through. I feel like also the only really the change for these guys is that once you hit them, they stay in the, those locations. I don't need the rupees, but for whatever reason, I'll take them. 
so generous that they put the things here for the escalators. And they just stop. <laughs> My one weakness, having to light all the torches and making sure I just don't fall. Oh, uh, I, I think I know what's about to happen next. And also, yeah. I've already messed up. Thankfully, two chests have emerged. Are you serious? Screw you, just one, ru um, not rupees, arrows, arrows and bombs, and more bombs. Do I have any magic left? Thank you! Also... Why did I do this? Here we go. Mordorm. Almost sounds like Mordor, but isn't. Um... I would say he'd be kind of easy if he stays in that one spot. But... That will happen, and so yeah, this is turning out to be a lot longer and tedious than I need it to be. So we just need luck on our side, and just two simple swings. So if I'm not mistaken, there is a chest down here, and what lies within this chest? Find out on the next episode. You know what? No. We're going to find out right now because we're getting very close to the end. I, I, I mean, what, what did you expect? We just need the mirror shield. Everything else is going to be rupees, bombs, and arrows. But yeah, I feel like I am going to end this episode off here. There's only a little bit left to do. And I've wanted to get done with it, and we are right there. But, so, if you have enjoyed this episode, please do not forget to leave a like or a comment below. And if you wish to see more video game related videos, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. And within the next episode, we will be finishing this game, and we will be collecting all the items that we can. So, this has been Blue Flame Prince. And I will see you all in the final episode. Thanks for watching and later.